Hi, so I'm here to give a presentation about a painter's perspective on Giving Tuesday and how I would possibly like to contribute to Giving Tuesday with my hobby. So first, brief introduction. My name is Helen Jung, and I'm currently a sophomore or a grade 10 attending Seoul International School, and it's my hobby to basically paint. So here I am basically uh, talking to you guys about it. So let me tell you about my story and how I started art. Um, I'm usually a really academic oriented student. I'm usually not into art. I'm not really into doing the extracurricular creative stuff. But during quarantine, I came across my old paint bottles that I had stored up and just never opened when I was a, uh, when I was a young girl. So I came across that during quarantine while I was cleaning out my room. And I just thought perhaps I could use that paint to do something. So because I was bored and I was just really not in a good place at the time, I decided to use that paint to try to express myself. And uh, first, as you can see in the pictures here, like I wasn't really good at it. Um, I just I just did whatever. Like I don't know. I I didn't know what I was doing, but somehow everything came along, and I have around fifteen pieces of artwork now. But my artwork is very special to me. I think it's a way of me expressing my current situation or whatever thoughts I'm having. So to give you an example, um, this I think represents my life as a whole because there's so many times where I made mistakes and this piece is actually not something that I just made and everything came out perfect. Actually, at first I wanted to do something with pinks and oranges and yellows. But it didn't work out and I thought it was a mess, but I moved on. I was like, okay, we're going to let this dry and then we're going to start back again. So I decided to let it dry and then just cover it with orange and just thought of a color that would directly contrast it. And I thought of blue. So I covered it up with blue, made these designs and see, it came out as a wonderful piece of artwork. So I think that just represents how even though people are going to be prone to mistakes and especially me, I'm so prone to mistakes. I think it's more important to move on and try to fix the mistake instead of dwelling on the past. And I think this is just one of the art pieces that represents that life lesson that I had. My second piece of artwork, I think this was when I was just staring out the window. Um, I was looking at the cars, the lights, the flashy lights in Seoul. And I just wanted to represent how grateful I felt for being able to live in such a beautiful city. And that's just me painting um like lights across the dark sky and yeah I just wanted to represent that and I feel like I was in such a sad mood at the time I wanted to do something to lift my spirits up and that's just what it did and so that's why it's one of my favorite artworks this one's another piece that represents my situation when I'm very stressed due to academics um so at first I was trying to do something similar to the previous artwork but I was just mad. I did not know what to do and I just wanted to just erase everything with white. So that's why there's like a white garnish on top. But I think this represents how my brain works. There's sometimes where I just really want to start over all over again. And I think that's just something that represents my mindset. So yeah, I think each artwork basically has a story to tell. For these two, the first one, I think this represents the beginning of my quarantine. I was pretty depressed because I am usually a really outgoing person. I love to go outside, talk to my friends, hang out with my friends, but because I couldn't do that, it was kind of overwhelming. It was stressful. So yeah, I originally tried to paint it with red, but then I realized that there's so many people who are supporting me, my parents who support me, my friends who support me, and I just thought I could push it through, and that's what the white and blue represents. Um, for the second painting, I think this one represents my mind of chaos, especially when I'm stressed. Um, when there's uh, so many things going on, especially with the coronavirus pandemic and everything, sometimes I just want to take a break and just do whatever. So that's just what I let the paint do. I just let it flow, and that's the design I created. So I think all of my artworks basically represent something, and I think they just have a lot of meaning. So what are my plans to getting involved in Giving Tuesday? Um, I would like to first say that many of my art pieces, like I explained before, are something that represents 
my emotions. It's something that represents myself. And I think that's just a way that I am able to truly express myself when I'm not using words. And because art is such a creative and it's such a subjective piece of art, and it's just something that's so amazing, I think I was able to release, release my stress and actually get my opinions across. But for many people, I don't think they're even allowed to express their opinions because they're oppressed by people. They're oppressed by governments. They're oppressed by the, those who are somehow stronger in the social hierarchy. So I wanted to give these people a chance to truly voice their opinions and express themselves like I am able to using my artwork. So therefore, I want to use my artwork to basically um, allow people to buy it if they truly relate with it and if it makes them content, then I would love to sell it and perhaps even use that money to fund those people in order to give them a voice. And I think that's what my plan is about. And that's how I hope to get involved in Giving Tuesday. Thank you.